Hi, BookTube. It's Gina, and today is Tuesday, so we know what that means. It's time for a tag. I am going to do the B tag. Uh, the tag was created by Jim at Books, Reading, and Stuff, and I was tagged by Steve Donahue, and I will link both of their channels below, of course. So the prompts for the B tag are, number one, B is for Bildungsroman. Bildungsroman. Do you have a favorite Bildungsroman or coming of age story? I knew I was not gonna be able to pronounce that one easily. Um, for that one, I'm gonna go with a sweep the story of a girl and her monster, which is a middle grade book. This is such a sweet story, uh, deals with grief and loss and love and building a life when you are, are a young person trying to figure out your way. And this is such a wonderful book. This was one of my favorites when I read it originally and I'm gonna have to revisit it because it's just absolutely fantastic. Um, Sweep the story of a girl and her monster and the author of this is Jonathan Oxier, who is a really, really great middle grade author. So um, I absolutely love that book. Um, two, B is for beach. Be careful how you pronounce it. What would you recommend for a beach read? Now I will not be doing any beach trips this year as far as I know, but I am going to do a pool vacation in August and I already know what, well, I think I know what I'm gonna take. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. This has been on my TBR for a while. It's beautiful paperback. This is a really chunky fantasy. And for beach reads or for pool vacations, I really love big chunky fantasies that I can sort of dip in and out of. Um, I read Mistborn on a similar trip many years ago. And that was one of the reasons why I was able to get into that book, because I think when you're forced to just lay by the pool and relax and have a drink, it's very easy to just settle in to a big chunky fantasy. So I will be hopefully be reading The Priory of the Orange Tree. So I haven't read it yet. I'm not sure if it's going to be wonderful, but it's everybody loves this. It's got great reviews. So I think this is going to be a really great beach slash Pool read. Uh, question number three or prompt number three. Oh, and also, you know what? I didn't, I, this is also a, an aside for B is for Beagle, not a prompt, but a chance to see our Beagle Abby. That's Jim's Beagle Abby. And I was going to try to pull Bunny in here, our cat Bunny. So, because he's a B word. Um, but I don't see him around. Um, we have, just a little aside, I have three permanent resident cats, Bunny, Josie, and JJ. And then right now I also have three foster kittens, three little tiny gray ones, which I did a little montage of. I will, I will uh, insert a, a link to that here, a little, little kitten video to practice my editing skills. So I might, I'll try and grab some footage of Bunny to insert because he's a very cute cat. Um, so now we are on to prompt number three, which is B is for best. What is the best book you have read this year so far? And I think, there's only one answer to this for me so far. It is Piranesi by Susanna Clark. I loved this book so, so much. I was absolutely stunned by how beautiful it was and how much I loved it. I wasn't expecting it when I, when I read it. And after about two pages, I, I had that feeling where I just knew that this was gonna be one of my favorites. And it did not disappoint me. Uh, it was one of my favorites. I fell in love with it and I, I continued to love it. I want to do a reread because I read through it so fast because I was so gripped by it. I just read through it in one sitting that I would really like to now go through it again and revisit it. And I think I will do that at some point. Um, question number four, B is for bookshop or bookstore? Do you have a favorite bookstore? 
and I do. So I have a bunch of favorite bookstores right now. My favorite is Third Place Books in um, in the Pacific Northwest. Um, it's a it's a wonderful bookstore, independent bookstore that's got a variety of primarily new books. They've got some used books mixed in, and so it's a really fun place to go just putter through and find books. I absolutely love doing that. And then my favorite used bookstore right now is the Tacoma Book Center, and I've got a big old pile of books. I'd, I'm gonna do a haul, um, it's sort of hard to see that. This is a beautiful old May Sarton hardback. I just went to the Tacoma Book, Book Center this weekend and did a um, did kind of a browse through and bought a whole bunch of beautiful vintage paperbacks. So I'm very excited about that. And then, I also love Powell's Bookstore down in Portland. There's so many wonderful bookstores, but those these are ones that I can actually go to. So Powell's is is an, a wonderful, also independent. Sorry, I got a cat hair on me. Um, independent bookstore that's in Portland, Oregon, and I haven't been there for a while. I used to work in that area, and so I would go to Powell's fairly regularly, and that's just a fantastic store. Uh, prompt number five, B is for banned books. Is there any book you think should be banned? No. Prompt number six, B is for Bible. What is your favorite book of the Bible and what trigger warnings do you think it should have? I, I don't know how you could have trigger warnings on the Bible. I'm gonna just, I'm, I'm gonna not even address that because I don't, I don't have anything intelligent to say. Um, I am not a religious person, but I was raised as a Southern Baptist, had a fantastic upbringing with my family going to Southern Baptist Church in a small town in Northern California where I lived. And this Bible is, I mean, it is falling apart. I got this when I was nine years old. I remember this so, so well. I've, I've written written in it and scratched things out. And this was a birthday gift um, from my family. And the inscription from my mother says, to Gina, whom we all love very much on your ninth birthday. Love from mom, dad, sister number one, and your brand new baby sister number two. Their names are actually there, but I'm not saying them. Um, on my birthday. And so I just, this is a treasured book for me. I don't revisit it really. I, I'm, I'm uh, not, like I said, not religious, but I just, I absolutely love this, um, this Bible as a keepsake. Um, and a B is for bookshelf. Show me your bookshelf bookshelves. So I will insert some footage here. I've got three big bookshelves um, like this here in my living room. And then I've got another big set that includes um, my nonfiction and my cookbooks in the other room and a couple smaller bookshelves around. Um, so I will, insert, um, I will insert a little picture of my bookshelves here. This is my main TBR bookshelf with a stack of cookbooks to the left of it with Woody sitting on top. Then panning over, this is my main fiction shelf. The shelf on the left I call The Ladies. It's all of my favorite female authors, including Miss Reed and Rosamond Pilcher. And I've got all my A.S. Byatt's and Iris Murdoch's on this shelf, as well as a few random favorites like N.K. Jemison and Sarah Waters. And then the shelf on the right is, there's some TBRs in here. These are my favorite, I would say others, not necessarily women. And then the bottom is some nonfiction and my piles of mess. That is some um, just bought books that I want to haul. And the bottom shelf is some philosophy books on books decorating books, homekeeping books, and these are the set of bookshelves in my office with a 
cat basket on the top. We have a cat that hops up there to sleep. The first two bookshelves are primarily my nonfiction. On the left with some bigger books and some decorations. And then on the right is my cookbook collection, my vinyl album collection, and then some overflow paperwork storage and some overflow books on, on the bottom shelf. This makes me realize how desperately in need I am of a good bookshelf clean and reorganization. And then lastly, B is for Brazil. Paul Coelho's The Alchemist has been translated into 70 languages. Have you read any Paul Coelho? And if so, what did you think? I haven't read any of it. So I don't, oop, look what I got. B is for Bunny. He's not having any of this right now. This is Bunny. <laughs> He's not a very social cat. He's a cat person. He's not a people person. Um, oh, and lastly, who I'm going to tag. So I'm going to tag Shelly Swearingen. She is a new booktuber. She is super duper cute. She's very articulate. I really am enjoying her videos. And so I will link her channel down below. Shelly, you may also need to do the A tag in preparation for this. I'm not sure if we have to do these in order or not, but I hope you will do the B tag and I hope everybody will check out Shelly's channel. Thanks, BookTube.